This is a follow-up CT abdomen and pelvis. What do you guys think? I'm not, I have to withhold the history because I'm just... There's, there's uh, superficial lesions. Oh, it looks like kind of maybe carcinomatosis with calcified uh, deposits. Yeah. Immature, immature teratoma? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Right. So this was a patient who had a history of immature teratoma, and it was resected, and then she had implants um, post-resection. So I'm not sure how... You know, if it was already there, I don't think it was, but yeah. So this is a immature um, teratoma. So immature teratomas are um, one of the types. It's m most commonly mature teratomas. They're like every, one, one in every five tumors are, ovarian tumors are uh, teratomas. But immature teratoma, which this patient had, um, usually affects young people and it uh, has worse prognosis. Apparently, like you can sort of distinguish it from um, like a cystic teratomas by, I guess there's more solid component um, and intertumoral fat compared to like cystic mature teratoma. I don't know that I, I, I <laughs> um, that I, I would, I would have called it prospectively, but um, yeah. So this is a, a case of um, peritoneal implants from cystic, I'm not cystic, but immature teratomas.